हेलो हेलो अगेन सो दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो एंड इट वॉज टू आवर लॉन्ग सो आई हैव टू पुट दैम इन टू टू पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट वॉज इन विच वी हैव यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स विच वॉज एक्चुअली असाइनमेंट जीरो प्रॉब्लम्स एंड नाउ वी विल बी मूविंग ऑन टू कॉमिक्स एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम डूइंग दिस सो आई एम पुटिंग अ डिस्कलेमर वेदर इज नॉट नीडेड दैट मच बिकॉज इट्स द इनफॉर्मल वे ऑफ टीचिंग सो ऑल कैरेक्टर्स एंड नेम्स रेफर टू एंड ऑल इमेजेस रिप्रोड्यूस इन द पेजेज ऑफ द नॉल इंडियर कॉमिक्स आर ट्रेड मार्क एंड कॉपी राइट ऑफ डी सी कॉमिक्स मार्बल कॉमिक्स कंटेटी कॉमिक्स वॉल्ट डिजनी कॉमिक्स एंड अदर्स सो आई एम प्लानिंग टू गो इन टू डिफरेंट कॉमिक्स एंड ट्राई टू ब्रिंग द कैरेक्टर्स इन and they are reproduced under the fair use guidelines so i have mentioned which comics i am using so this comics intended for education and entertainment of its viewers uh, on the world wide web and is not be used for profit in any way or reproduced without the ex- uh, express permission of its author so current um, current comics is loosely based on 1988 storyline in the american comic book batman named a death in the family this infamous story is special in its own form because in this storyline batman fails but we are here to recreate history uh, let's have a happy ending here so batman uh, so hence everything is dark because we have taken the dark setting generally batman is a perfect hero and he doesn't fail like whatever the villain has plan he always pass in that but in this strange case or in this strange story line the batman fails so uh, this is my cover page so the story domain is in gotham city and it's an embodiment of a archetypical city at threat so a city on verge of collapse and a savior comes to save the city so it has lot of intricate web of crime at a- every level and at any temporal moment the city reflects real world concerns cultural anxieties social political and economic tensions it is a city known for criminology and its origin so lot of crime have evolved here and they are into different level now our story begins with a strange light in the sky <coughs> so in this city is now dominated by the criminals and amidst that there is a strange light in the sky which was having this batman logo so you can see in the previous frame there was no light now there is light and soon a creature is spotted out of the shadows who is that creature so there would be many questions now uh, i have listed them down just to break them so question number 1 is what is this light question number 2 is where do the light originate from question 3 is who activated the light question 4 is who is the creature and question 5 is why the light shining at this hour of night so to answer 1 2 and 3 the light name is bat signal and where do the light originate from 
so there is a police department called gautam city police department just named after the city gcpd so at the roof of it this bat light is there so bat signal light is there and commissioner jane gordon another character in batman series he activated the light now who is this creature and why the light shining at this hour of night so why the light is shining at this hour of night is because of batman so who is batman so batman also known as dark knight and is always shown as someone who have like who all the criminals should fear so what are the psychology of it i will come to the uh, end of the lecture so there are a lot of thing which we can take uh, in our syllabus or in our course like the concepts i am talking about the concepts uh, so understanding can be made that batman is a superhero who lacks super power now we have seen lot of superheroes with having super powers but here he doesn't have a as per se super power but instead he use lifelong training and equipment to fight crime now batman often relies on his own scientific knowledge detective skill and athletic prowess so he is kind of uh, uh, athletic engineering student and so he is good in directing something like calculating so also through meditation batman five senses are pushed at the highest limit of human perfection meaning that this sense of sight touch hearing smell and taste are very keen his awareness instinct and the senses combined make him extremely alert to danger so it borders a sixth sense so if we combine all the five senses and if we can put them into the peak performance we can have a sixth sense now batman utilizes a vast arsenal of specialized high tech vehicles and gadget in the war against the crime such gadget we have made in the last uh, last hour so Uh, in the previous part of the lecture we have seen that we just gave batman a bat mobile the design of which is usually share a bat motif so hence he wanted everything in dark and having a bat logo on it so he wanted to instill fear in the criminal by using bat so anywhere they see bat they get terrified now why the light was shining is the commissioner james gordon was overwhelmed by an incident at arkham asylum the bat signal is used by gcpd as a method of contacting and summoning batman in the event his help is needed now gcpd is a police department itself okay so there is some strange incident which happened so that they have to call outside help now any police department is capable of taking care of its citizens but the problem was in arkham asylum arkham asylum is very shady place as you can see uh, the graphic of arkham asylum is always shown like a haunted house and it has a eerie of a uh, lot of uh, in in comics book we have seen lot of eerie sounds are being made so it is like more giving a more haunt, haunted uh, look so the asylum serves as a psychiatric hospital for the gotham city area housing patient who are criminally insane so the crime in gotham depart gotham city is in such level that we need uh, hospital psychiatric hospital to keep the patients and also some patients who really require some 
additional they are not criminally insane they are not insane but they need, their body need require some additional things so hence they are used uh, they are kind captured there and uh, all of them are beyond the conventional prison ability to accommodate okay out of them the one pa- one patient is joker and he just break out of the arkham asylum with a new agenda to prove that even the noblest people can be pushed to evil and madness just that he was so according to him he was a very sane person and he became insane by a series of event now this time he chooses sheila hayward and uh, who is she she is biological mother of jason todd now who is jason todd he is our second robin now who is robin now robin are the character a series of character who are portrayed as a apprentice of batman and as you can see here in the figure there are six robin and this is my question to you can you figure out who is jason todd out of them so we have six robin here and can you tell me like or you can put in the uh, chat like which robin is jason todd here so you can uh, i can write the numbers in front of all the robin so this is one this is two then three then is batman so four five and six so out of these six characters which one is jason todd so so uh, so he is a second robin so there was one robin before him and uh, then he was a second because i think he, uh, the first one he was very old like he so uh, robins are always denoted by some boy and they are uh, they are like apprentices so they are not as per batman and so we are coming back to the story line so sheila hayward now sheila hayward was a good person and professionally she is a doctor who worked in the refugee camp in ethiopia where she worked with medical supplies now in that ethiopia the neighboring areas was affected by a virus whose antidote can be derived from compound used by joker something called the laughing gas now joker used lot of chemical weapons chemical weapon means like since his uh, he, he was a patient of chemical disfigurement so hence he was too much into chemical so he designed his own chemical called the laughing gas in which people die by if if we if somebody sniff that gas the people die so much they will laugh that they will die so it's like uh, death by the laugh now the joker he blackmailed sheila into giving up several truckloads load of antidote he said ki i have antidote i have made antidote from the laughing gas but instead he gave another lethal laughing gas so instead of giving the antidote at promise he gave another different lethal uh, laughing gas so hence you can so these are the uh, comic strips of the previous comics so i'm just relating things so each box contain enough gas to cover a 4 acre stretch just consider it as my little contribution to the war against hunger so this is joker is saying and she saying don't look so down sheila i am doing you a favor how he is doing a favor think of it as as just a way cutting down the number of mouth you have to feed so he is killing people just to kill hunger the joker always likes to leave his mark wherever he goes you monster so sheila is very terrified now and her son got to know everything and he, he disobeys batman order to stay okay so disobeying batman's order to wait for him jason helped uh, his mother by himself hoping to free her from the clown prince of crime script 
so joker is also known as clown prince and uh, we will come to the uh, history of joker but first we will uh, complete the story arc so instead she turns her son over to the joker to secure real medical supplies now uh, still the ethiopian uh, that uh, uh, the virus was spread and sheila wanted the real supply so hence he asked again joker to give the real supply but again uh, joker tricked her to give her son instead now she was so willing to help the people so she was so humanitarian that she even sacrificed her son so that is the choice she had to make uh, either son or saving life of the people now this betrayal from his mother probably hurt jason much more than what came next so no now vicious beating from joker with a crowbar so always jason todd is shown with a crowbar so this is going to like so hence he is beaten up so badly now finally batman arrives in the scene but it is too late uh, joker had taken jason todd to his uh, own house called uh, joker fun land and was torturing him there also he didn't give any medical supplies to sheila as promised and she and like also he uh, kind of gave a bio bomb instead of the second dose and by that she also caught the disease so now this this is paragraph is also this comic strip is also from there okay at this point i think my uh, connection got loose so i am trying to reconnect just wait for one or two minutes so i will continue the story then um there was like there was one mother she sacrificed her own son instead of saving life of a bunch of people so this is where the choices matter like if she would have chosen the son then she would lose lot of other people so this raise a question like who who was like control of the situation joker was so how this joker mind is we will be looking at the final part of the lecture hmm. i'm explaining how i don't know what i'm explaining <laughs> okay so i'm able to log in <coughs> okay so we are <clears throat> back yes so the conversation goes like this now batman since he is late he asked sheila what happened here sheila says joker joker happened and then she replied that he tied us up set bomb to explode wanted to eliminate all the evidence of his being here now jason her son tried to rescue me we almost made it so close so jason since he is apprentice of batman so he knows his ways how to tackle the maniac person but again he is just a apprentice so now she is explaining uh, putting the heart out that she turned he turned out to be such a good kid all the problems and he 
still turned out good he is much better than i deserve much better he threw himself in front of me in front of me he took the main brunt of the blast so she is now thinking about the choices she had made and in a way she became a bad person but she started as good but because of some circumstances we call them initial conditions the thing went south way like the thing went some other way which was not desired okay so now our task is to rescue our robin so we are here in joker's fun land and uh, what he does there is he knows that batman is coming okay and what does he do is he set up a trap and uh, so it's its own prison so he had tied a bomb on the chest of um, jason todd and um, he he is just he has a remote control and he asked bat when batman arrives he asked batman to shoot at this gallery so this is a shooting gallery in which we have to shoot the duck if uh, we miss then it's game over like he will kill robin so but batman observed that something is off in this gallery table what was off is instead of this rigid link there was a spring so now the question all becomes like this if there was no spring if there is only rigid rod so this is as this problem that one uh, target at the shooting gallery moves vertically by means of a cam rotating in a constant angular speed the resulting motion in time is given by sawtooth curve as shown in the figure and so ut can be defined as u max uh, at t by uh, tau p means uh, time period so, so in one time period it's behaving as a sawtooth note that this this sawtooth curve after vertical translation of u max by 2 is odd relative to t equal to 0 hence only a not and bn coefficients will be present so what we are doing is we are converting this periodic function into fourier series so application of this fourier series extend beyond the representation of periodic inputs and is used to describe other phenomena as the cyclic forces stresses environmental processes etc now what happens in this um, uh, this kind of problem is we have a periodic input or periodic forcing what we do we convert this periodic forcing into a um, trigonometric series so known as fourier series so if we can successful successfully convert the periodic function into sum of trigonometric functions then we can individually look at those trigonometric function as forces and we can solve the system for uh, whatever the question is asked let's say single degree of freedom or multi degree of freedom so the key point is we have to convert the periodic function into series of sin and cosine also known as fourier series so now in this problem it is not straight at this if it had been joined by the rigid link then gallery will also move as the cam is moving but here cam is connected by shooting gallery by a spring so there is a force and response relationship now let me ask you a question that since periodic function is periodic can any can any periodic function will be uh, converted into sum of four, uh, fourier series so 
so the question is if any periodic forcing can be converted into sum of Fourier series so the correct answer was that yes it can be converted but actually we are approximating it with sum of sine and cosine so hence there will be some errors <coughs> and when we are putting the those those type of transform transformation and finding the responses those errors those errors are accumulated and those are called this this whole phenomena is called Gibbs phenomena we will actually look at it what why why it's happening so hence we cannot uh, use Fourier series transformation everywhere if we have some function such as this sawtooth curve uh, let's we will be talking about rectangular pulses so in that sense the Fourier series is not the always correct option so there are more advanced tool in vibration moreover linear vibration something called Duhamel integral so that is much better than this so uh, it is just speaking of this sense that if the periodic forcing is converted into the Fourier series and those Fourier series are put into the are put into this so we from any Fourier series we can find the Fourier series of its response but the problem come when we are approximating things so hence uh, when there is when there are uh, very discon uh, sorry discontinuous function we cannot use the Fourier series Duhamel integral is still a way to go but Fourier series fails in this sense how it fails is because what I am uh, classifying the old comics was as because of because we didn't know this fact okay that Fourier series cannot solve it or it can but it will give a incorrect solution which the old comics had done but we since we are we know this fact that again I am emphasizing that Fourier series is not always the great option it has uh, one disadvantage when we have discontinuous function as this sawtooth or our rectangular pulse so let's take let's take this example in which these are rectangular pulses and uh, so it's the same cam is moving such that it makes a rectangular pulse the forcing and the shooting gallery the odd one shooting gallery it is it should move in some other way now we can directly think what that relation will be but it will have we have to find responses and do lot of a lot of calculation which is not part of this syllabus so I will just uh, give you the intuition what is happening so since that green one is our actual forcing and we are approximating using different um, four year terms so if you take only one term we can see that yellow line is there so that is only one term if we take two terms so this uh, purple line I think it's purple so purple line is there and if we go for three terms then this blue cyan cyan line is there and if we take more and more term let's say 15 term you can see that still it is not having that effect that it can be treat, it can be co called as the rectangular or the square wave so that is my point like if you take 100 or 2000 terms also then this kind of behavior will be there so you can see there will be 
something it is called Gibbs phenomena because since we are using trigonometric function to uh, compensate for the discontinuous function. So, hence this Gibbs phenomena comes into the picture. And what does this effect do is it induces a, lo a lot of error. So, in the sawtooth curve also we can observe that if we approximate using sin and cosine this kind of error will again be present at these points. So, that is why uh, the approximation errors are, so if this is a force input and if we are, we are approximating using uh, this, the solution which you will get is something like this. Now, the second chart is the responses which we get and you can see that the actual solution should be green one. But what we are getting is, if you can see the 19 term answer, so it is a red one. So, what we are getting is the red one and which is very far away from the answer. So, green one is our actual solution, green one not the yellow one, actually it is looking like yellow now. So, what does that mean is let us say Batman shoot at one point due to Fourier series theory like Fourier series transformation. Now, what will happen that Batman will miss the shooting gallery and Joker will win at, the, at this point. So, let us say if we if Batman shoot at 20, 20 second ok and the his calculation will tell, so the actual solution will be somewhere at this point ok. So, let me show it by green color. So, the actual solution the actual shooting gallery will be at this point. So, this is the correct position. So, if we go by Duhamel or something some other method we can get to this point, but if we will take if we will take this red one or Fourier series transformation, we can see that there is a, a error of about 2, 2 units. So, that is something which is the problem like it uh, the Batman will mit, miss it entirely. So, here we are making a shot and that was the correct position. So, if you go via Fourier series method, then there is a chance or chance that we will fail. Also, you can see if you take more and more terms, the error is still persist. So, that is the point which I wanted to make that due to the Gibbs phenomena, the error accumulates and we can do nothing about it. So, hence uh, better is to change the method for discontinuous functions mainly. So, Joker since he is too smart and uh, whatever Batman is saying, he is defying it. Now, uh, at the end what happens that? Um, a blast happens, but in that blast uh, uh, Jason Todd dies as what Batman is thinking. So, we will come to this second part and then I will talk to it, but let us first talk about Joker. This Joker 
we know he's a mad fellow but how he is mad like why he is mad so we can talk about him because he's a interesting character uh why is a interesting character uh, let's go to his back story once this is one of his back story which he tell out loud there are many other back story which he tells us but it all has a pattern so i have realized that pattern and hence i am putting that into our course syllabus because i have related many things with his life and whatever the syllabus is teaching so first of all uh, now also we will in this last uh, 20 or th- uh, 25 minutes i will be con- uh, collecting the points from this comics and putting or applying into whatever uh, the starting of a non linear dynamics syllabus should be so first of all that joker was a regular engineer okay so he was sane person at that time but he failed miserably in that so that was his failure number 1 now he quits his job and he becomes a comedian and a magician he fails miserably there also if you remember uh, the just a joker movie had, had uh, was there and in that he goes and gives a comedy show and he was uh, criticized heavily there so that is like failure too so now he was desperate to support the family he joins a gang so that was his failure three he go into bad influence now he became a small criminal and since he is a criminal he loses his family so beating the purpose so that is our failure four the failure five which is the major failure which kind of turned his life upside down is getting terrified by batman on the first day he jumps into a chemical plant so all these series of event happen and then finally he he kind of jumped into chemical plant and he get a chemical dis uh, figurement so because of that he got a super power and that is defying logic so what does this defying logic means is Uh, currently joker is a chaotic person in gotham creating integrated fractal scheme that defy logic so what my point about defying logic is defying logic represent defying prediction so if somebody predicts something it's on some logic right or he is predicting out of something so there should be some logic but if that prediction fails let's say um a uh, asteroid is there and at asteroid every year it comes once okay but what happens if that asteroid in one year came twice or in second year it came it didn't came okay so that that is where we i am saying a defying logic defying the prediction now nonlinear dynamics is a study that do not follow traditional linear patterns or equation so whatever the normal criminals in gotham city were they were linear problem so gcpd can take care of them they can put them in the jail and try to um, put peace in the city but some criminals are not linear so they are non linear and we have to have this idea of what non linearity and how can we tackle those systems so this system extend various kind of behavior so one of now i can give you example how joker became joker okay so this is my first animation in which when the first failure happened to the joker he split into some different phenomena like previously he was a stable person just one circle one, one revolving around one world okay but due to the first failure initial condition changed and he were like this so still he was predictable uh, we can see um, blue ball moving now this is second failure in which uh, now he is doing one revolution of uh, the down uh, red point and the side red point he is doing one and a half 
so as compared to uh, first he is now little complex or in my world it he become little mad now in the second third point you can see that that point has now two revolutions per point so as compared to the first one it's more complex in nature first and second it's more complex in nature but still predictable like we can track this blue ball where it is at any point like if at this instant if someone asks like how many times this blue ball will uh, circle we will say two now again something happened that he is again changed his configuration so it's now at one point everything is seems stable but another it has two orbits okay so these kind of activities is changing a person so these are the events which are changing the person and finally uh, but yeah at this point also he is still predictable now this is what our whole syllabus is about non linear vibration what those are is now as you can see he start from at point 1 he goes into one circle then he goes into another circle then he goes into uh, uh, again this circle you cannot predict in which circle he will be going next so this is what a chaos look like deterministic chaos look like and these type of figure we will be when we will be end of this course we will be looking a lot on this in, in this figures and we would be you, we will be analyzing it how it is there so joker is also something like this so he is unpredictable in nature that we don't know in which circle it will go next so this gives us a lot of thought on how uh, things are actually we can go more into philosophical domain is uh, all those events which happen in our life had created us at this point so it can be as bad as joker also it can be as good as some other which in which uh, everything went well so my point is anyone can change uh, themselves by using surrounding okay by using the initial conditions initial conditions are something of some events in our life which either we uh, we, we make them or it happens naturally so those events kind of change person in different format and hence the life is also not linear it's a non linear uh, series of event you hence we say that magic will come in life magic will happen this will happen so it gives the emphasis that it is more interesting than just revolving around a circle right but again i'm not going into the dark phase of it so i'm saying there is a bright phase also any joker can become batman any batman can become joker so just that he need some series of event to change we can take it in very good way also like uh, habits can change that's the thing okay so um, we have talked lot about the philosophy now coming to the syllabus that we have what in this course we have something different what then uh, structural dynamics course in structural dynamics or vibration course we just looked at the linear vibration problems in linear vibration problem we know how the response will uh, evolve in time and uh, in this subject we actually have to have some other ideas how the response will evolve in time and will it be unstable unstable or in between so this is a case in which it's in between so um we it looks like it is uh, periodic but it is not periodic uh, the pattern keep on changing but it's uh, bounded so that is one more thing it's bounded so there is a uh, lot of theory about this even uh, hilbert gave a open problem in uh, very, very old uh, problem it's like uh, his 16th problem is Uh, something related to this event in which he asked like if we have some uh, governing equations can we find out how many limit cycles or how many stable orbits are there in a uh, in a dynamic system 
so that is still unsolved problem uh, maybe one of us can solve it in some way uh, so my point being like any uh, so non linear events due to the non linear events we will come to what those non linear events in from next class uh, so what my in this comics what i have related is so the gotham city criminals are dynamics and so dynamics can be both linear and non linear in if you wanted to make something predictable what would what we do is we try to make the system linear and once it's linear what we do is we know its responses how it will behave so we can predict it uh so yeah i asked this interesting question that if a if you have a biology student or you are a biologist and linear for you is cat so what does non linear means to you so this is a very interesting question like this is this opens up the mind that if linear is cat equivalent to cat what does non linear mean to you so non linear actually the hint is in the question only just you have to put not cat okay so linear means cat non linear means not cat so not cat can mean many things it can be you me any tiger tiger is also okay it's a cat but it's a big cat so my point is if you have a cat and you know how to handle that cat and in your home if some tiger appears will you be doing the same thing which you have done to that cat if you do that <laughs> it will be it will be very very more uh, like the robin was better at that point so okay so my point is like non linear dynamics is much bigger than the linear dynamics and uh, it does that in non linear dynamics is saying we are biologists and we are learning what non cats are okay so you, entire world is non cat right so linear and non linear in regime we can say like this that now what we have done up till now is we are gcpd okay and we are we use superposition principle and we try to solve the linear system hence we need some everything to be linear but again the linear making something into linear and then using that linear is now very old fashion because what happens there is there is lot effort make to make something linear and then there is a lot effort to maintain that linearity and you would have uh, seen a lot of in electronic instruments or many different things after some time it stop working then you give them one thrash and it start working so that is also one kind of non linearity so it kind of went bad and then you gave a thrashing it came back to life so that is what um, like reality is but this gotham city police department cannot handle because that's a separate mindset hence we need some uh, psychiatric evaluation of the um, criminals so that we can understand how they are behaving what actually caused those points to happen now joker which is a huge non linear event uh, so as you can see the color is also <laughs> green of this joker so we cannot tackle him using our um, linear uh solution if we go and tackle using linearity we will fail eventually because the concept we haven't thought about are being used there so in this course we are touching some of those concepts and there is always a avenue of using the non linearity so that is also one topic in which see non linearity doesn't um always means going bad things going bad or it sometimes can be boon so 
there's uh, there is one example which i can remember is uh, uh, in energy harvesters we actually need system to be chaotic if it is chaotic it can have more power like it can give us more uh, like energy can be harvested so something like this uh, also in non linear controls there are lot of phenomena which we, which we use so these are the application part of it but again uh, making things linear is overrated now we can actually understand what the linear non linearity is and we can work accordingly so that is the main uh, part of this course like how we can use these in industries okay so gcpd being uh, linear system solver and uh, so also uh, joker is non linear event and yeah bad signal what i am calling right now is perturbation method it can change like we are still building up our concept so it can change but what i see right now is you if you give light on any non linear problem uh, so if you give any light on the non linear problem using perturbation method then it usually works so it just depend upon the accuracy how much you require okay it fails sometime but uh, most of the problem it works so hence we can say that uh, bad signal is that and right now we are batman and we are trying to learn things so that in future we can beat some joker okay so uh this kind of gave me total completion of uh, this comics and there now there are many thing which can be discussed so uh i asked like for the feedback everybody liked the uh, thing because it was something out of the box so and also these thoughts always keep appearing in my head uh and i i got a uh, beautiful um uh, Um, only three joined, but uh, they gave a beautiful remarks about how it went. And so one feedback I got is, <laughs> uh, like, if we will be in the story, then we won't be able to solve the questions. So hence, what I am doing is I am taking the toughest question out there, and then putting it in form of a story. If you can solve those toughest question, you can easily solve the smaller problem. So. it just uh, how you will apply and what is the need of the applying so that came with the fact like why we are doing this okay and why should have some meaning so which i give as a storytelling or making a comics of out of it so in that way you will learn um, first of all you will learn how uh, why the things are needed in the way as such so uh, previously you have you have not known about gifts phenomena now it will just generate something which is called curiosity my point is only to create curiosity now taking a 2 hour lecture requires curiosity see one point is uh, my teaching philosophy is something which in which it's not like hard bound like to teach everything be strict that is not my teaching philosophy and not the other way is also not my teaching philosophy so i am living in between my only task is to generate a curiosity in the subject if something can be done where we generate curiosity that is the thing in which student will start asking question and that is where my point is done like my work is done because i just need them to ask questions so yeah lot of beautiful questions were also asked so this is the first session let's see how this will go to uh, next uh, uh, next classes for next classes i will try to uh, record the audio also because right now i am doing about 4 hours of class like 2 hours actual class and 2 hours i have to record again so and yeah at that time i would have said something this time little bit it would be different but yeah i covered the comics and i covered each and every question in assignment 
now we will be coming to assignment 1 assignment 2 uh, in next class i will be coming by theory to week 3 and uh, assignment to assignment number 1 so i'm just thinking if something is left so yeah this comics writing this comics also gave me passion that two habits can be mixed and can be made into something altogether new yeah please give the reply of which uh, robin is it because it is having a huge impact in further comics i will be bringing back some characters so right now what how our story ended was jason todd died in the blast again sorry to say we were going to recreate history but some things are meant to be original <laughs> uh, we will come to that in some different comics and i have uh, tried to solve uh, the textbook problem and so yeah you have to i think learn matlab because that is asked in the assignment zero or if you are comfortable with it so it's okay but at any time you can ask me if you have any doubt uh, i will give you my personal number also in uh, youtube So yeah, please give feedback if something had to be changed. One more feedback I got was to change this blue color to uh, white color only because it is not visible when uh, we are screening. So it go it looks good in a setting where um, in a form of PDF, but while screening, it's not that much good. So I will try to improve on that and uh, uh, anything else yeah i got a uh, lot of feedback that this is they have never seen something like this and yeah actually my point was <laughs> to catch the attention by doing something different <laughs> in that i think i have passed it's just matter of fact of watching if somebody is watching they will get to know why this guy is showing batman and those things in a uh, imperial course so <laughs> So yeah, feedback is always uh, welcome. So if you have, you, if you have wanted to criticize, then also you can put comments so that I can improve upon those things. And since uh, Anpil gave this opportunity to teach now two hours, so now I have a full time preparation mode had to be done here. So I just, I also want to complete this two hours in humanly possible because. Taking two hour lecture is very hard and uh, that I got to know uh, from my personal experiences and also if you are just solving the question, uh, the class become very dull after some time. So I keep on improving on this aspect. So I was getting teach using storytelling so storytelling yeah it's always a hobby so with this i end the lecture thank you guys we'll meet you next week uh, saturday 6 to 8 thank you